Dear parents, carers and students, welcome to stage 5 subject selection information. My name is Yogesh Mani and I'm the relieving principal. In this presentation I will take you through information about stage 5 course requirements, record of school achievement, minimum standards test, stage 5 pattern of study, electives offered at Goulburn High School in 2021, tips on how to choose electives, overview on how to submit electives, and then Mrs. Kennedy will explain about Goulburn High Careers Program. NASA, our credentialing body, require all students to complete the mandatory curriculum requirements. That is, students are required to follow the course developed or endorsed by NASA, apply themselves with diligence and sustained effort to set tasks and experiences, achieve some or all the um, course outcomes. It is important that students are constantly focused on producing their personal best. ROSA is awarded to students who leave school after completing year 10 and before completing year 12, or students who complete um, year 12, but were unable to meet minimum standards in testing opportunities in year 10, 11 or 12. ROSA is a cumulative credential, which means it shows your achievement over a period of time and is based on internal school assessment. And for year 12, it could also have your HSC examination results on there as well. Minimum standard tests uh, from year 10, students are given the opportunity four times a year to complete an online minimum standards test in reading, writing and numeracy. The tests involve a reading test of 45 multiple choice questions, a numeracy test of 45 multiple choice questions and a writing test which will require students to write a 500 word response to a visual or text prompt. Students are deemed to have reached the minimum standard if they achieve level 3 or above of the Australian Skills Framework on each online test. Information about Stage 5 Curriculum. The curriculum consists of mandatory courses, elective courses and work education in Year 10. The pattern of study involves the following. English, Maths, and for Maths, there are three levels of Maths, 5.1, 5.2, 5.3 where 5.3 is a more advanced level course that gives you the option of doing advanced mathematics and extension in year 11 and 12. Science, PDHPE, History, Geography, Elective 1 and Elective 2. These are 200-hour electives. And then Elective 3, which is 100-hour elective and work education in year 10. At Goldman High, we offer a wide range of electives. The courses offered are included in your subject selection booklet. You need to choose two 200-hour courses. These courses will run for two years, that is year 9 and 10, and 100-hour course, and this course will only run in year 9. You must read through the subject selection booklet, as this booklet will be your guide to the subjects that are available here at Goldman High School. Each elective will have a brief description of the course, the course fees, and any other relevant information. Read through this booklet and make notes of the subjects that sound interesting to you. Once you've made some notes on your subjects that are most appealing to you, get advice from those around you. Your parents' guidance on this decision is extremely valuable. Have a discussion with them about your short list of subjects and get the input. Seek advice from your teachers. In the subject selection booklet, there is a list of faculties and head teachers that you can speak to about the subjects you're interested in to get a better understanding of what is included in the course and the expectations. Remember to make the decision based on what is best for you, based on your ability and interest. Please do not choose elective based on your friends as choosing your interests might be different to your friends and we cannot guarantee that you'll be in the same class. And also, please do not choose a subject in the hope that you'll get your favorite teacher. Remember these dates, please. You must complete the online subject selection form by Sunday, 23rd August. Failure to complete the form on time may mean that you'll miss out on the um, course selections. All students should have received a selection sheet with login details, including a web code. Make sure you make your online selections by 23rd August and then copy the elective choices onto the back of your form. Return the signed form to Miss Murray 
by 9 a.m. Monday, 24th of August. Frequently asked question, will I get all of my first choices? We'll endeavor to provide you your first choice, but if you don't get your first choice, either because the course is already full or we don't have enough students to run the course, please see your year advisor or um, the year head teacher or deputy, and we'll uh, try to do the best to provide the best option for you. You will be notified of your selections before the end of the term. Please make sure that you submit your forms online on 23rd of August. That's very, very important. Some important contacts at Goldman High. Miss Murray is your year advisor. Mrs. Reese is your year head teacher. Miss Ryan is your year deputy principal. Mrs. Kennedy is your careers advisor. And myself as the relieving principal. We are here to help you to make an informed decision. So please make sure you consult us if you need any help. Thank you to all and I wish you the best in your elective subject selection process. Hi everybody, I'm Mrs Kennedy, Careers Advisor at Goulburn High School. And as I believe it's never too soon to start exploring careers, I wanted to provide you with some great resources to help. While the electives completed in years 9 and 10 won't make or break a person's future career choices, it is certainly a fabulous opportunity for students to see what they like or don't like and explore their skills and strengths. The Goulburn High School website is the first resource I'd like to mention and all students access this website through their HAP classes with Mr Manny in 2019. They have all set up their own accounts in the Student Secure area and completed a variety of career quizzes and a career plan. Students can access this at any time and if they need assistance with the login, they just need to see me. There is also a fabulous parent information section with really good information on supporting children as they prepare for the future. As you work through the website, you'll access information on a variety of careers. Each of the job descriptions is consistent. Make sure you remember to open each of the sections on the page so that you get all of the information, including what you will do in the job, the qualities and skills you need to do the job, how and where you can train for that career path, and most importantly, a fabulous profile of income, current and future employment profiles, and so on. The bullseye posters are another fabulous way to access information for younger students. By looking at the subjects that a student really likes, you can see the career paths that can move on from that. The careers in the centre of the bullseye require the least amount of formal education and training. Those on the outside require university education. And it's important to acknowledge that there are many pathways available to move from career paths in one level to another. Careers in the vocational education and training sector have gained much greater profile and for parents who are looking to explore the options available in this sector, the Skills and Thrills Showcase will be available to access vital information to support you in this process. Don't forget you can always visit the Careers Office or make an appointment with me if you have specific career-based questions. Students will start to have access to careers education formally in Year 10 when they study work education. Thank you.